Hi, I'm Max and this is how to sidechain an FL12. I will show you basic sidechaining, sidechaining without the kick being heard and advanced sidechaining. Now look at the bass. This is the bass line and this is our kick. Our kick is by default in channel 1, so we select the kick, go to channel routing, route this channel to this track. And now we go to our bass, it's this one, uh, go to your mixer, right click it, any insert, but I take insert 5, channel routing, route selected channels to this track. Now our bass and our kick are inserted into the mixer. Now we go to our kick and right click the bass while we have our kick selected and sidechain to this track. Now we put a go to the effects rack and take a fruity limiter without any limiting because yeah it will actually limit anything but we put up the ceiling up here lower the attack and the head and go to the compression section. Now we right click this little box here and take the kick uh, now we lower the threshold and the ratio, we are raising the ratio a little bit and yeah we have to look what's best for our wishes if we want hard side chaining the harder it gets yeah the more you hear the side chain so now if you take a little bit more kicks this configuration is messed up look at this because the curve is not reaching the zero point here, the purple line. So if we, if we get rid of this problem, you will hear it also. If you lower the release, look at this now, okay, now it's done. Mm, if you want this messiness down here, you're, you're raising the head. So this curve is a little bit more fancy. And if you want the sidechain like that mouse, so it's without hearing the kick. You go to the kick, uh, make an automation clip. Here's the kick automation clip and you lower it to zero. Now the side chaining is applied without the kick being heard. I hope this helped. And the next step is the more advanced version. So advanced side chaining means if you want to layer your kicks you have three kicks for example and you put it into one channel this one channel is triggering the side chain or you have three snares and it's going into one snare channel and you want those two channels kick and snare to one channel the trigger that is side chaining your chords and bass and pad and vocals so that's the reason we're making two channels one trigger one chain and we're making a chain and a trigger. Into the trigger there's coming our snare and our kicks. Okay. And into the chain we're routing our bases and chords and pads. Okay, I'm going to take my chords and route them into the insert 6 and routing it into the chain, route this channel to this track. Now we have our chain and our trigger is going to be side chaining our chain. Side chain to this track. Now we are selecting trigger, side chaining to this track, to the chain. Uh, don't forget to remove this. And now we're doing going to do as before. We don't want our sound to get fucked up by the limiter, so we're increasing the ceiling of the the limiting. So no limiting is applied, and uh, lowering the attack to zero and the head to zero. Go to the compression section. Go to this little box and select the trigger. Uh, choosing our configuration. Now we have to play around with the trigger and the head. Well, the messiness down here is convolved by their head.
that's about it. I really hope this helped and I'm really happy if it did. So don't forget to support other guys like me. Uh, the same as you want to be supported yourself. So have a nice day and be creative with your work. Bye.